I, I just had one comment on the small commercial exemption is that while it may not in all cases trickle down to a tenant who is actually operating a business inside a unit losing that exemption to the landowner certainly would trickle down to the tenant with increased rent uh, and so that is something to look at yeah. um, that they may not always get the benefit but they will always get the burden Go ahead, I can make Dan. a motion that we maintain the small commercial exemption, as it is today. Yeah, Sorry. Mr. President, through you, probably, I, I think it would be more appropriate that you would, um, I don't think maintain, I think the, the motion should be that you would uh, adopt. Adopt. Yeah. adopt. Vote. All those in favor of approving uh, the small commercial exemption at 5%, as motioned by Mr. Pare, uh, uh, state aye. 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 Opposed? All right, I think that's 9 0. Uh, we had promised the residents that that you would look at the dual tax rate when when the override happened. I think the businesses were hit with the dual tax rate, um, so I would not be in favor of of increasing the split. Um, but I I do want to keep in mind that we do need to look at our residents as well and what we're asking them to pay um, so I would like to keep it as is now review this in a year see how things have have changed but I want to make sure certainly that we don't put any more pressure on our small business community I, I absolutely positively do not want to put any more burden on the businesses um, I think when you know I mean you know uh, Mike and I in particular, Mr. Lennox and I in particular, promised to resign if we didn't execute that last year. I think that um, we need to recognize the fact that um, with the shift that was made last year, and yes, it did put more burden on the commercial industrial, but they have the opportunity to raise their prices. Mm -hmm. If you put the shift on the resident, they go without something. So it's an apple and an orange for me. When we talked about making the shift, there were a couple of drivers. The, the first one was the competitive balance. So we looked at all the surrounding communities, and with the exception of Franklin and Norton, even with the shift, we're still lower than everybody else. So if we're competing based on tax rate, which I don't think anybody really believes businesses are choosing their towns based on tax rate unless it's something obscene. Um, that, but that was piece one. There was no competitive disadvantage to doing, uh, to doing that. Uh, the second piece was the point that Mr. Lennox made that at the, at the federal level, tax reform was driving benefits to the businesses. Um, and so we saw that as a potential offset that the businesses were getting that, that the average homeowner uh, did receive some similar benefits, but maybe not as dramatic. Um, and then the third piece was that point that you were making exactly, is that when you're making a shift with the override, who has some ability to create offsets and for the residents it's it's clearly harder than it is uh, for the businesses so I move to approve the residential factor yeah. of okay. 0.9652 second all right a motion and a second further discussion welcome uh, all those in favor <coughs> of the um, setting the residential factor at 0.9652 say aye aye, aye. Post nine zero.